The atmosphere at Newberry Park, I think, is is pretty laid back in general. I mean, I say that because I, I think um, you need the kids to be loose, you need to have fun, and obviously, again, they're kids. They're all under 18, and they're they're um, you know they're, they're serious about running, but they need to have a good time every day. But we come to practice, we have a routine. Everyone, um, we have an area where we meet, everyone knows how to stretch, and uh, we have rope stretching we do, and there's a routine with that. But I make sure before every practice, if it's an easy run, if it's a training run, if it's a workout, if it's whatever it is that day, um, I always talk to the kids. I think you need to talk to them, um, yes, individually sometimes, but as a group, tell them what we're doing, even if they already know, if we're doing a training run or so forth. So you can't do it alone, like you have to have the teammates around you and the environment to um, allow your runners to run fast. So I think um, having everyone who's really extremely competitive, all those all those people, Colin, Jace, my little brothers, um, they're all super competitive and having that environment um, definitely helped us excel um, every, at everyday practice. Yeah, we really try to motiv motivate each other like as much as possible and just cheer each other on. Like, And we can kind of tell when we're having difficult workouts and stuff and it's just, we can, motivate each other and just tell each other you're almost done you're almost there just get through this last part and it'll be fine and it'll work out for the better in the end how would you describe what the atmosphere is in a typical workout competitive yeah we're we're focused on being competitive at all times you know it's sometimes we really got to hold the horses back but you know when we jump out there and we're doing uh hill sprints those guys are sprinting and they're racing to the top of that hill. Um, we're, we're always trying to figure out who, who the most competitive kids are, you know. There's a lot of programs that don't like to compete, but in our program, we compete often and we're trying to figure out who's got that edge. So, you know, I, I think that can cause confrontations, that can cause, uh, you know, some animosity, and I think that's why most coaches try to avoid it. But at the end of the day, if we're trying to find a national championship program, a national championship team, we need to know who's ready. I feel it's very um, competitive, but relaxed at the same time. So like going through drills and practice, we're just having fun, we're just chatting the whole time. But then once that workout starts, um, we all turn on, turn on like a switch, competitive, and we just get at it. The atmosphere of the team, like we are social, but we're also extremely focused on what we need to get done that day and making sure that we improve ourselves as much as possible. It's a really hardworking atmosphere. Um, there's a lot of motivated people that help you stay focused. And it, when you're running with people that are so hardworking and focused, it can only make you a better athlete. So there, there's high intensity, there's high expectation, there's high uh, sacrifice. With all that going on, how do you keep it fun? You know, I, I would say that uh, by nature, I, I tell a lot of jokes. You know, I, I always say I went into teaching so I could make fun of people. Most of the time, I'm able to go out and have fun with kids. And, you know, you, you cannot tease someone unless they can tease you back. You know, the kids like to have a lot of fun with me and they, they, they savor the moment that they come up with a good joke that they can tell in front of everybody and kind of catch me off guard. And we try to make sure that uh, it's someplace they want to be. You know, no one comes out there to hang out with Coach Souls. You try to create a culture where when they're out there, they're out there with their friends. Um, and that makes the biggest difference. You know, they, they show up every day because they want to be with their friends and then eventually start setting goals and eventually they start getting good enough that they're part of the team goals. We, we keep things fun and we joke. I mean, I, I have an air horn I always scare them with on the runs and we I make things fun at practice. And I sometimes, before we start a workout, I've even had a, like a, a popper gun that shoots confetti. This is a funny story. So right before Halloween, I think it was the day before Halloween, we had morning practice and had a morning run. My wife was running the, the supplemental training. I dressed in all black like robe thing. I put on a mask. I hit, I, I, I already scouted out a bush at Pepper Tree where they do their morning run. They left, it was all foggy out that morning. I hid behind the bushes. As the boys, I hear them talking, da, 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 oh, there are about five or six of them running there at three mile morning run. As they came around, I jumped out and screamed. I've never seen guys so scared in my life. Nico, for the for the for his life of it, like he started screaming and he was telling everyone to run. Like he just thought I was some crazy guy in the bushes. I only made it about 30 seconds and I took the mask off and I was like crying, laughing. But stuff like that, they actually, I mean, we talk about to today.
to see them reach those goals for running. When they set a goal and you watch them um, get passionate about it and they work that much harder each day, each day, and you know, they come to you with that light bulb moment, this is working, I'm actually getting faster and I feel more confident and to be able to see that and to see what they take with them afterward, what they've learned, um, that they don't need to stop at a certain point. Running can te tell you in your heart that you can go just a little bit farther. And in life, they learn that as well, that maybe when they think it's time to quit, that they can push a little farther and just work a little harder and, and reach those goals. Everything's fun though. I mean, all the, all the coaches, Sean and Tanya are great coaches. The parents are good coaches. The athletes are obviously dedicated to their sport. So when you go out there with my kids and see them on the line with all these dedicated people, it's 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 a great experience. We just have some really good kids, and that that comes from their parents. It comes from their family, um, and those are the kids that make you look good. You know, just what a fabulous group of kids, and to throw have uh, pasta parties the nights before local meets and have nearly every athlete show up. It just was such a special group of kids that got along so well. That's part of the magic of this, of this program, and you've got to work to maintain that. You know, mm -hmm. It's not just show up and win, it's do it as a, as a collective group. I want it to be positive, but positive doesn't mean you have to be nice. I would say the most fulfilling part of coaching is just seeing the success that these kids have had and just seeing them reach these goals and having success they never knew they could have. <laughs>